For 15 million years, the great white shark has remained the ruler of a kingdom to which we are such vulnerable visitors. They are the most feared and respected of all ocean species known to mankind. But with less than 70 deaths recorded worldwide in the history of great white shark fatal attacks, are they the ruthless killers we label them as? Or are they simply a misconceived apex predator of the sea? For thousands of kilometers they travel, using underwater paths and highways, navigating their way through the open seas of all our planet's tropical and temperate oceans. From one isolated food source to the next, they continue to move from cafe to cafe, sometimes traveling up to 80 kilometers in a single day on a constant search for their natural prey. Seal colonies are a favorite hotspot for the great white shark, and it's these occasional visits close to shore that stirs up great fear among humans who venture into their domain. So the questions are, where will the great whites be, and at what time? And how many actually are there in our waters? Understanding the movement patterns of sharks are key to understanding many different things about their populations and what's important to them. In fact, most of the questions that we're asked about sharks have a basis in understanding their movement patterns. Things like, if a shark enters an area, uh, how long is it going to stay for? Is it normal for it to be there? And what would attract it to that particular area? For scientists, tracking such incredible predators in their own massive domain is a difficult task. The sharks must first be found then tags attached. And who else better to do such a job than the very experienced Rolf Zabayski. It's quite surprising how many white sharks we've been able to tag in Australian waters since we started our tagging program. Most of these sharks have been tagged in South Australia. Now we currently have 500 tagged sharks in our database. Of those 500, Rolf has been responsible for the majority. I'll use a tag. Got a tag. What we have here are a series of tracks, the coloured lines, that represent where our white sharks that we've tagged with the help of Rolf Sabaski in South Australia at the Neptune Islands, where those sharks have gone in Australian waters. Coming straight at it. Rolf Zabayski's familiarity with the great whites in Australian waters is a result of 30 years of shark expeditions. Once a game fisherman turned conservationist, Rolf's passion is introducing tourists from all around the world to what he believes is a very misconceived predator. Prepare to embark on a journey of adrenaline and outright fear as we join the people who are brave enough to experience them and watch on as we follow Rolf as he continues his quest to track the Great Whites, so we can all learn more about the movements and intentions of this magnificent giant of the sea.